You're watching the Sun Belt Conference on ESPN. And you're welcome to downtown Atlanta and Center Park Stadium for the college football 2023 opener as the Rhode Island Rams of the CAA have come south to take on the Georgia State Panthers. It has been a while, and the opening kickoff is coming down to Robert Lewis. He will field it at the five-yard line. And Lewis will make it back to the 24. And that's where the Panthers will put the ball on offense for the first time today following a 19-yard return for the Panthers from the 24 as they go on offense for the first time this year. And the handoff right up the middle. Big hole for Marcus Carroll and a first down run for Carroll. Second down from the 50. Panthers moving quickly and moving well to start the season. Granger on the keeper. Fakes the pitch, picks up the first down at the 38-yard line. So first and 10. Play action. Granger going for the home run, throwing it out there. Caught by Lewis for a touchdown. 38 yards. It takes the Panthers less than 90 seconds to get on the board. And that'll build your confidence. They have an opening drive of the season just like that with like clockwork for Georgia State. Here's another look. You talked about Lewis having to fill in the void. For Rhode Island, he said, look, we're our, that's not our goal. We want to get in the FCS playoffs. Thought they had a shot last year. Came up a little bit short. Pass is thrown complete at the 11-yard line. And the kick is going to be off the upright. Man. Granger sprinting to his right and throwing. That's a first down catch up to the 37 yard line. Robert Lewis, his second catch. Pass out here to Lewis. Third catch of this first quarter for Lewis. And he's up to the 43 yard line. Price making the tackle. And so far, the offensive line is looking good. Gives Granger time, going for the home run, going for Cradle. Contact, and we got a flag out on Price at the nine-yard line. Let's see if this is going to be offensive or defensive pass interference. Yeah, it's going to go against the defense. Carroll gets the handoff right up the middle, runs into his own man and knocks off the helmet. Right back to the line of scrimmage as the Panthers play with tempo here. Second down and goal. And Carroll skips into the end zone for the touchdown. Scored six touchdowns a year ago. That's his first here in 2023. And the Panthers have a 13-0 lead. And now he's just 16 yards away from being third all-time in total offense. Should get that very soon. If not on this play, going to take a sack, however, back at the 34-yard line. Panthers have done a really good job of putting pressure on Kasim Hill. Carroll got hit in the backfield, bounced off that man, and falls forward to the 43, close to a 10-yard pickup for Carroll. Going for the home run, Williams streaks open and caught for the touchdown. Ty Leak Williams, 42 yards. As Darren Granger dropped it in a bucket, it's 20 to seven. And he just hung it out there and let Williams go and get it. Well, Sean Elliott told us that uh, Granger in preseason practice has been precise on his assignments and deliveries. You can't be any more precise than 10 for 10 to start the game. Second down coming out of the timeout call by the Rams. And Hill in the pocket. He's in trouble. Ball is out. And he jumps on top of it, going down for the quarterback sack. Hill stands in there, has a pocket throws, jump ball, and it is caught. No, incomplete. It's going to be ruled intercepted by Georgia State. That's going to be a touchback. Cody Jones must have come up with the interception. Interception by the defense in the end zone. Resulting in a touchback. Wow, touchdown. Cody Jones won the jump ball. Let's take another look at this. 
He'll going to throw it out there. Watch for 32 in the dark jersey. How did he come down with that? He just reaches in there with one hand and just pulls it out. The what? other question is, was he in bounds when he came down with it? The call on the field is interception. There's great camera work right there, and it looks like he did catch it. Granger, low snap again, goes to the air, far side of the field, long throw, and it's caught at the 42-yard line. Lewis with the catch, his fifth catch of the half. Heavy rush coming right up the middle. Granger runs away from it, scrambling, and goes down at the 31-yard line. The safety, Brent Jackson. Second down and seven. Granger going to keep it again and run for the first down, looking for a running lane, goes down at the 46. He was ninth in the Sun Belt in rushing, led the Panthers in rushing. How about that? Carroll gets it again, gaping hole right up the middle. Marcus Carroll going to sprint into the end zone for a Panthers touchdown. So the Panthers get it right back, doing it on the ground by and large. 23-yard run for Carroll, his second touchdown of the night. Hill now with 316 passing yards tonight. Going back to the air again. Flushed out of the pocket and throwing to the far sideline and incomplete. Trying to get the ball to slope the running back, coming back on the play. And that was John Trey Hunter in the coverage. A big stat sometimes, but here tonight has been apropos. Silas on the run, going to be cut down well short of the first down. It's going to be a punting situation for the Rams. Silas picks up seven on the play. I didn't see him take a hit. He's taken some hits. This might be a cramp. Hill goes opposite side of the field and pick. Could be six. It will be. Gavin Pringle in his Panthers debut with a pick six to put Georgia State back on top. Just armed it like didn't, you know, you, you use your whole body when, when you're throwing. He seemed like he just armed it. And maybe that's something, we, you know, you watch for. It's yeah. Like, that's Silas in the backfield. Going to get the handoff, and Silas gets hit right there at the line of scrimmage. Great pursuit by the Panthers. McKenzie. Wow. Big contact from the safety. Since then, the Panthers scored 14 on a six-minute span, reclaimed the lead. Right there in the middle, they didn't get it. Going to bring up a big fourth down as they gave the ball to Silas. And Henry Bryant there along with Kevin Swint, two of the transfers, Swint from Clemson, Bryant from Louisville, make a big stop right in the middle. There's nine. There's ten joining in with him. Not going to snap it right away. Carroll gets the first down and more across the 40. Foot race, Carroll past the 40. Finally caught from behind at the 12-yard line. First and 10, ball at the 12. Carroll again, right up the middle again. Touchdown. Third touchdown run of the night for Carroll. This one goes for 12 after he'd sprinted 63 to get him down there, and it's 41-28. Leaning on that reconfigured offensive line, that's something to watch today. Big run right here to set up the, set up the score. That was the 63-yard run that preceded his 12-yard touchdown run right here. And we're at 42-35. First and 10 for the Panthers from their own 25. Nice move by Granger, stuck his foot in the ground and cut up field and picks up 12 on the play. I don't want to see the quarterback get hit. I'm the coach. Carroll up the middle gets the first down. Ran right through the tackle of Bethel, who held on. But Carroll gets the first down. Just a really strong season opener for Marcus Carroll. One final snap of the ball. There is the knee, and that should do it for the Panthers. On 23 carries, Jim Fleming, tough loss for the Rhode Island Rams as they gave the Panthers a battle here in the season opener. But they will start 0-1 on the season. Panthers hosting the UConn Huskies next Saturday. That'll be a 7 o'clock kick here on ESPN Plus. Rhode Island 
they actually host Stony Brook next Friday night in their CAA opener. So they're already in conference play in week two.